spirit of scientific inquiry is a theme of this conference, which is organised by the Saudi Students Clubs in the UK and Republic of Ireland, held at the University of Surrey and sponsored by King Abdulaziz University, Jeddah. Saudi students participated from around the world, including the USA, Australia, France, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, as well as the UK and Republic of Ireland. This course is held from the 5th to the 6th of June 2009 with the generous hospitality from Surrey University, one of the UK's leading universities, alongside the generous financial support of King Abdulaziz University. The aim of this conference is to create a network and platform of interaction between academics and further the cooperation between national and international academic institutions. In addition, it also aims to strengthen cooperation and communication between Saudi citizens living abroad and their colleagues back home that serves the exchange of expertise and information, emphasising the role of future generations in the promotion of scientific research. This conference was inaugurated by His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Nawaf and was attended by representatives of Taif University, King Abdulaziz University, King Saud University, Umalkura University and Surrey University, along with numerous international independent attendees. It's a true pleasure for me to join you in the opening of the third Saudi International Conference here at the renowned University of Surrey where distinguished speakers and participants are addressing a variety of topics under the theme that I believe is the foundation for all the great scientific accomplishments of our human race. This theme is the spirit of scientific inquiry and the pursuit of knowledge. I would like to start by conveying my thanks and appreciation to the University of Surrey for hosting this gathering, to the Saudi Ministry of Higher Education, King Abdulaziz University of Jeddah, and other Saudi universities for fully supporting it. My thanks are also due to the Saudi cultural attaché, and especially to the Saudi students clubs and schools in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland for their invaluable efforts exerted in, this, in organizing this commendable event. In particular, I would like to extend my thanks and appreciation to the speakers and the participants in this conference. I wish you every success in this conference. I believe there are a very, number of very important topics to be explored, and I hope you have an enjoyable and stimulating few days with us. It is an era where universities should be the homeland of knowledge and engines for development and enhancement of scientific creativity and innovation. It is of no doubt that this conference and similar occasions are among the many successful ways of exchanging views and discussing the innovative research issues and outcomes. At this moment, our president, Professor Osama Tayyip, in China, will finalizing two other agreements with other two esteemed Chinese universities. We are all aware that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has gone through impressive educational experience with remarkable results. The success of the King Abdullah Scholarship Program entailing as it does, sending thousands of students abroad, this, I am sure, will add a great deal to an increasingly thriving educational and cultural relationship linking the UK and Saudi Arabia. I'd like to say how impressed I've been by the professionalism of the organizing team. It has been a, my great pleasure to work with them, and I'm sure the conference will be a great success. It is my pleasure and honor to notice the opening of the Saudi International Conference 2009 at the University of Surrey. This conference is organized by Saudi students' clubs and schools in the UK and Ireland. The main motive behind this conference is to support 
Saudi students' progress and growth in various fields, both academically and personally. This conference is held with a generous hospitality from one of the best British university, University of Surrey, and under a generous financial support of King Abdulaziz University, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as a sponsor of this conference. The third Saudi International Conference is a multidisciplinary scientific conference which held for the third year after the great successful in the previous conferences in Newcastle and Leeds during the past two years. My motto is Ikra, which we all know means read. It also means pan education and research. I'm therefore very keen to promote the value of education. 1,000 years ago, the Islamic Empire was home to some of the greatest scientists in the history of mankind. Indeed, for over half a millennium, the international language of science was Arabic. But with the European Renaissance, the science of the Muslim world began to decline. Why did this happen? And what can be done today to rekindle that great spirit of free thinking and rational inquiry, which is the only way that true scientific progress can be made? There is no one culture that has a monopoly on civilization. And of course, there is undeniable contribution of Islamic culture on today's uh, uh, living. There are great contributions to sciences, arts and medicine. I want to unearth this buried history, to discover its great figures and to assess exactly what their contribution to science really was. Are there medieval Muslim scientists who should be spoken of in the same breath as Galileo or Newton or Einstein? I was really honoured to introduce those two speakers. Um, I, what it brought to me was a realisation of what is, for m in my knowledge, a huge gap in my knowledge of the contribution that Islamic scholars had brought at that particular period of time over the development of history. And if that is then an inspiration for scholars going forward, then that, to my mind, you know, really, again, set a fantastic target in terms of what the conference was about and where people should be going. Uh, I think I said at the time uh, afterwards that as far as I was concerned that session just brought a huge wow to the conference in terms of saying I didn't know that, you know, I, I really didn't understand that, I really didn't know that and that was amazing to me, it really changed my understanding of the world. I was really very impressed with the lecture about um, Islamic science, um, the, the history of it. I mean, this really was wonderful. I thought this was, this was really something to be very proud of if, if I'd been um, from an Arabic nation.